You know, many of us know that Christmas is not the day that Christ was born. In fact, we even know that the Bible doesn't even mention the day. And I believe it's intentional for a few reasons. One of them is that because if it was, then people can justify doing whatever they wanted on that day, all in the name of celebrating the birth of Christ. When we look at the Bible, it tells us about the Christmas tree back in when Jeremiah speaks to the house of Israel. In Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 2, it says, do not learn the ways of the Gentiles. Do not be dismayed by the signs of heaven, for the Gentiles are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are futile. For one cuts a tree from the forest, the work of the hands of a workman with an axe. They decorate it with silver and gold. They fasten it with nails and hammers so that it will not topple. They are upright like a palm tree and they cannot speak. They must be carried because they cannot go by themselves. The Bible tells us that there's already a time in scripture where people practice this Christmas tree tradition. It was through paganism that it came under what's now we call Christmas or a Christmas holiday. The truth is, it is not according to the Bible, and it is a, something that we as believers shouldn't even partake in. And let me tell you the reason why. In Romans chapter 12, verse 2, it says, Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Our job as believers is to prove God's will to be true in our life. When we walk the earth, the Bible tells us that we are supposed to walk circumspectly. That means we set ourselves apart from what the world does. How is it that we can believe that it's okay to celebrate Christmas with the very people who hate Christ and say they're celebrating his birthday too through gifts and dinner and gatherings and things like this? If the Bible says that the world hates you because they first hate Christ, why would Christmas make it okay for them to all come together? In Revelation chapter 22, verse 14 through 15, it says, Blessed are those who do his commands, that they may have a right to the tree of life and may enter through the gate into the city. But outside are the dogs and the sorcerers and the sexually immoral and the murderers and the idolaters and everyone who loves and practice a lie. If we are celebrating a lie, Christmas, no matter how we try to spin it and make it seem like it's okay because it's just a time for us to come together. If it is not found to be upheld as truth in the scripture, then God considers it a lie. And a liar to him is just as wicked as a sexually immoral person or a murderer. We need to understand this truth because if we don't, then we find ourselves cast away and not walking in the will that God has for us. Many of us know that when we partake in this Christmas ritual that we don't feel comfortable doing it. And the reason why is because the Holy Spirit is convicting us. In 1 John chapter 3, verse 21, it says, Beloved, if our hearts does not condemn us, we have confidence towards God. John is telling us that if we are obedient to him, doing his will, then we don't have a sense of guilt about the things that we do. And we're confident walking with the will that God has placed in our life. So I want to encourage you to search your heart and look inside and see that if you are walking according to his will, then you wouldn't have any guilt about the decisions that you're making. God wants to tell his people, well done, my good and faithful servant, when that time comes. And we should be walking as if we want to hear this, regardless of what people have to say or what they think about what we do. So I want to encourage you guys to be obedient in this season of mass deception that's been going on for many years, trying to pull believers away to walk outside of the Father's will. All right? Hey, you guys have yourself a phenomenal day. And remember, always be blessed. Mm -hmm.